Today we're talking about the Clayton Warthog series of electric HEPA vacuums. These vacuums are rugged and have been designed with features to help them have a long life and withstand the abuses of military and industrial applications. The 5 gallon comes fully assembled. The 15 gallon requires you to mount the handle. To start, identify the four bolts supplied with the vacuum. These will be used to mount the handle to the tank. Slide the handle down into the recess on the tank until the holes in the handle align with the threaded inserts in the tank. Start threading the bolts in by hand until they're finger tight. Then use a half inch wrench or ratchet to tighten all four bolts into place. The principles of operation for the two vacuums are the same, so for the purposes of this video, we'll focus on the five gallon. Get started by familiarizing yourself with the features of the vacuum. There's a heavy duty power head with an on off switch and a 30 foot grounded power cord. On top of the power head is a handle, which should be used only for removing the power head, not for carrying the vacuum. Around the tank are non-marring latches used to secure the power head. On the front of the tank is a self-closing vacuum port, and below that is a grounding jack, which allows you to connect a ground wire to dissipate static buildup. Under the vacuum are the casters, and on the back side of the tank is a safe filter change port, which can be used in filter change procedures. Before use, unlatch and remove the power head from the tank. Each vacuum ships with a HEPA filter and a pre-filter attached and ready for use. Inside the tank, you'll find a five pack of filter bags. You'll also find the instruction manual, which includes an illustrated parts breakdown. And you'll find a package of accessories, which includes straps to manage and store the hoses and power cord. Before the first use, you'll need to install a filter bag. To install the filter bag, first expand the bag by pulling apart at the pleats. Slide the bag collar over the fill tube and gently pull the bag all the way forward to the tank wall, ensuring that the collar completely covers the fill tube opening. Place the power head back onto the vacuum tank and resecure all the latches. Next, we'll connect our hose. For sanding, grinding, or other source capture applications, you can use an air vac work hose with a compressed air line. These assemblies terminate in a flexible one inch hose for connection to air tools. For general cleaning, a standard one and a half inch cleanup hose works best. Remove the dust cap and insert the metal sleeve at the end of the vacuum hose into the inlet on the front of the vacuum. Plug the power cord into a wall outlet and the system is ready for use. The cleanup hose can be connected to any number of tools for cleaning floors or other surfaces. The vacuum bag will fill up at different rates depending on the material that is being captured. Check the condition of the filter bag before use and occasionally during use. We recommend changing the bag when it is three quarters full. When the bag filter needs to be replaced, there are two recommended methods. First, we'll look at the standard filter change method. To begin the filter change, unlatch the vacuum head from the tank. Lift the head approximately one inch above the tank and turn on the motor to prevent any hazardous dust from escaping the HEPA filter. Place the vacuum head down on the floor and leave the motor running. Next, turn a large disposal bag inside out around your arms like a large mitten. Grasp the filter bag collar inside the tank and gently pull it free from the intake tube, keeping the disposal bag between you and the contaminated filter bag. Gently lift the filter out while drawing the disposal bag down around the filter. Gather the neck of the disposal bag and set it aside. If there is dust or debris inside the tank, wipe the interior with moistened paper towels or a rag and place them in the disposal bag. If you're working with heavy metals like hexavalent chromium, cadmium, strontium, or lead, we recommend using Hexoff surface decontamination spray to safely remove traces of toxic dust. Place a new filter bag into the Warthog vacuum tank. Gently pull the bag all the way onto the fill tube. Place the vacuum motor head back onto the vacuum tank, then resecure all the latches, and finally turn the vacuum motor off. Discard the disposal bag in accordance with all local, state, and federal regulations. Now we'll take a look at the second recommended method of changing a filter bag. This is the safe filter change method, and it'll require a second vacuum. The vacuum where we're changing the bag is the dirty vacuum, 
The second vacuum will be the clean one. First, connect a vacuum hose to the main inlet on the dirty vacuum. Then use a safe filter change hose to connect the primary inlet on the clean vacuum to the safe filter change port on the back of the dirty vacuum. Next, unlatch the vacuum head from the dirty tank. Lift the power head from the dirty vacuum approximately one inch above the tank and turn the motor on to prevent any hazardous dust from being dislodged from the HEPA filter. Place the dirty vacuum power head on the ground and leave the motor running. Now turn on the clean vacuum. Next, turn a large disposal bag inside out around your arms like a large mitten. Grasp the filter bag collar inside the tank and gently pull it free from the intake tube, keeping the disposal bag between you and the contaminated filter bag. Gently lift the filter out while drawing the disposal bag down around the filter. Gather the neck of the disposal bag and set it aside. If there is dust or debris inside the tank, wipe the interior with moistened paper towels or a rag and place them in the disposal bag. If you're working with heavy metals, we recommend using Hexoff surface decontamination spray. Place a new filter bag into the Warthog vacuum tank. Gently pull the bag all the way onto the fill tube. Disconnect the safe filter change hose from the dirty vacuum and then power down the clean vacuum. Place the dirty vacuum motor head back onto the vacuum tank. Turn the vacuum motor off and finally resecure all the latches. After five or so bag changes, you'll need to change the pre-filter. This should be done only after a bag change. Unlatch the power head from the tank raise it one inch above the rim and turn the motor on. Set the power head down on its side. Remove the pre-filter from the HEPA filter. Dispose of the contaminated pre-filter properly. Wrap a new pre-filter around the HEPA and secure it with the hook and loop tab. Set the power head back onto the tank, power down the vacuum and resecure the latches. The HEPA filter should be changed once per year or when it's dirty or damaged. The HEPA filter change is done with the vacuum off. Unlatch the power head from the tank and set it down on its side. Turn the HEPA filter counterclockwise to unthread it from the power head. Dispose of the HEPA filter properly. Thread a new HEPA filter onto the power head by turning clockwise until the top of the filter seats tightly against the power head. Attach a new pre-filter and secure the head to the tank. If you have questions about the Clayton Warthog series of HEPA vacuums, contact us directly at 732-363-2100 or online at www.dustlessmadesimple.com.